All right, guys, so we're just going to do this video here. This is the last last video I'm going to do of uh, for the Pitbull tires here on the Marlin. And I've got all these trucks sitting here because we're going to cover the YJ in just a little bit. And then I got some comments on the Forerunner video. I appreciate everybody. Yes, that is... Probably one of my favorite builds I've done. I finally got it back to going how it should have been because I ended up selling the boom wheels and then I got the boom wheels back from my bud. And then I finally got all them set up and a better set of tires mounted to them. That, so I finally got the Forerunner so I can start doing videos with the Forerunner again. Uh, it was just sitting on, you'll see it, seen it was sitting on jack stands all the time in the videos because uh, I was just taking my time. Getting, because I had actually like four sets of wheels and tires. I had to switch tires around to get everything right on. So, um, anyways, let's just get into, I'll just go ahead and say up front, William, uh, you always comment, man. This is what they look like. I started doing the scale lug nuts. I only got this one halfway on. I'm going to be switching these tires out because the Marlin wheels are 1.7. And I'm going to go with an actual 1.7 tire probably on this. Uh, probably something, maybe just a smidge smaller if I can find it. I don't know. I got to figure that out. And, uh, something with a mediocre halfway, like an all-terrain tire, probably. Uh, not that these look bad, but I'm going to strip the red off because it might look like it in a video. It kind of halfway matches the paint and it's dusty and dirty. It usually looks better than this. But I'm going to strip these and polish them chrome and highly polish the wheels and go with chrome lug nuts. And, uh, it'll be like an all-chrome wheel, beadlock wheel. Uh, that way it don't look like a hardcore off-road unit. Uh, more like a simulated beadlock, like a, like, well, you know, pimp wheel, <laughs> I call them. But uh, the YJ build will be starting sometime this winter, probably. Uh, I want to get my K10 rust bucket done first, because I'm going to be probably changing it up, actually, a little bit. And uh, so let's get into the Pitbull tires here. I got the Marlin cleaned up. Um, no, I haven't spent, like... Uh, you know, haven't had the tires on here forever. I really ran this truck, um, like a lot. Let me get the YJ out of here, slide it over, and, uh, so we got, yeah, we got, um, the Marlin here with the Pitbull Rock Beast. Um, guys, I've ran a lot of scale tires. If you watch my videos, um, I've had... These on the Forerunner, which perform extremely well, are the BF Goodrich All Terrain, the 155s. No, these are the, the MTs, the BF Goodrich uh, Mud Terrains, but they're more tread pattern like an All Terrain tire. Um, you guys know if you watch my videos, I've got tons of the, the Groundhog tires. Uh, I mean, those things are just, I'm from here, and, and I'm, I'm basing on this is my train. I'm not dissing any tires because I got. Uh, one of the guys I consider him my friend, Sir Chirps a lot. Go check him out. He's got a good he's got a good video uh, good YouTube channel, guys. He's got the records and stuff. Uh knows what he's doing. Uh he's up around Canada and everything. Uh uh he might be around my the guy one another guy I consider a friend, uh Kinsler. He comments a lot on my videos and stuff. He's up around that area of Canada and stuff. Um I'm you know, I think he kinda Maybe thought I was kind of dissing on these pit bulls. Guys, these pit bulls, I, I'm not. Um, I'm not dissing on these tires whatsoever. Uh, they just straight up, uh, they're, they perform They perform really good. Uh, you know, I, I was impressed with them. I thought I kind of elated that in the video when uh, William, you were make, dropping comments about it. Yeah, it was having trouble getting up that. But look, the only other truck that's made it up that that rock, that little rock spot right there, uh, you know, is, 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 is a one point, was a 1.9 landmine, uh, in the competition tire. Uh, I forget what J concepts call it. It's, it's their, their, 
they're, you know, what my buddy used to run on his comp truck. Uh, and he had trouble getting up that with a, I think, I don't know what class it is. He runs that truck in now because he's changed it up. Uh, but he had the 1.9, 4.7 tall. Uh, or I, I think the landmines may actually be able 4.6. I can't remember. Uh, but he ended up getting them off of me. And he, he, he had his truck up here for a short little rip. And, uh, you know, I was trying to get up that. His truck, hey, it took like three or four tries for him to get up it. Uh, that spot might not look like it on the camera, but it is super steep, guys. Um, and like I said, he's got, you know, a comp truck loaded down. So, you know, I was pretty impressed with these rock beasts to make it up that. Um, not a whole lot of people. I've seen there's not a whole lot of views on the, on the first person view on the Marlin video. If you go check that out. Guys, that, that hill that I was going up and down, you can't walk up that. You have to climb on that. Use your hands and feet to climb up that spot. It's so steep, okay? And then you're lucky to get up it. You have to have boots to get up that spot. You know, I went all the way up that. If you watch that video, right there is a 100% hardcore test. That's loose. That's some rock. That's loose shale, uh, clay, some hard pack clay, um... So if you actually go and watch that FPV video of the Marlin on the Church Ridge Trail, uh, these tires are super impressive. They really are. Um, do I think they're better than any other tire that I have? My groundhogs make that climb. Uh, you know, I don't have hardcore rock area, and I'm not a hard hardcore rock guy. If you guys go watch Sir Chirps a lot's channel, you know he's a big rock guy because he's got that. I think it's called BBM. He told me, um, you know, the, these tires are great. What I really, really, really like about these tires, okay? You can get away, because I took these off my Marlin and put these on my 4Runner. Didn't do a video, but I just did a, you know, a test on it. Because I happen, I'm having to run these hard magic foams, which these foams are great, by the way, guys. You can trim these down. And they can, you can get them conformed to your tire, about any 385 tire I've put them in. Uh, these are freaking fantastic uh, for a heavy, heavy truck. And, guys, I mean, my 4Runner and my Blazer are freaking heavy, okay? One of them, I think the 4Runner weighs over 10 pounds. And that, because it's loaded down. And the Blazer weighs like, it was, I, we, I weighed it the other day, and I said 14 pounds at one video, but it's like 12 point something, so it's almost 13 pounds on the Blazer. Um, you know, the my buddy did the foams, custom cut some foams for me. Uh, the guy that made the mount for the Trail Finder 3, I give him credit. And he's got those groundhogs that are perfect uh, with those foams in it. So, for me, I love the groundhog tires. They just, they work really well for me. Um, these... Mudslinger tires, you know, they they won't make that climb that these that these rock beasts made in that video. I tried and tried and tried and tried. Guys, I ran a 3S pack 3500 milliamp battery down in this truck trying to make this climb with these tires. Now, with that being said, these tires performed on looser stuff a little bit better. Well, if you look, they're practically a paddle tire. Uh these like mud, obviously mud slinger. The wet kills these tires on rocks. Uh, they do not like to grip the ro walk rocks in the wet. Now, I took uh, the watering container and wet down a spot on the trail. And I didn't do that video because, guys, I mean, my hand's just now getting back to where I can get back and doing the trail. That's why I did a lot of trailing over the weekend, wearing my brace and stuff on and off to keep the swelling down. Uh, these tires performed awesome even when that when it was wet. I didn't notice a huge difference in tire uh, performance. Um, my buddy said he just bought a set of these. Dude, I don't think you'll be disappointed with the Rock Beast tires whatsoever. Uh, I just think people were getting the wrong impression. Uh, my buddy, uh, he, he commented on the video too. I'm like, dude, I, I'm not crapping on these tires. Uh, I think people were just taking the wrong impression from the way I was talking about them. Um, you know, they do perform really well. Would I buy another set of them? Yeah, probably. I mean, uh, I like them for the Marlin. I'm going to, because I'm going to be changing up the Marlin as well and taking the, my dirt bike out of the back of it probably. Uh, 
and doing some other stuff with it. I want to get a scale roll bar and stuff to put in the bed of the Marlin because I'm going a di little different direction with it, changing it up a little bit. Uh, I could probably even leave the I may even leave the bike in the back with the roll bar. I don't know, but uh, yeah, I mean this thing performs great. William, these are weighted wheels. Any of the trails that you see like this, these are the, they're weighted already. It's just that is so steep, man. You can't. You literally, even with boots on, can't just walk up that where I was at, guys. I mean, it's almost not quite straight up and down, but a few places it is. I mean, you can't even... Okay, so it quit recording on me. It shut off. So I, I'm gonna, I, I'd am gonna. i recommend the Rock Beast, guys, either way. Um, great tire. Uh, you know, I and they'll get better as they break in. You know, I'm just going off uh, basically being, you know, I mean... I didn't video everything. These I did put some time on these Rock Beast guys. They do have time. Uh, so, you know, I cleaned them with Mean Green. Washed them with soap and water to get the mold stuff off. Because you really should clean and wash all your tires. Same thing I do with all my tires. of what I've always done with my tires. Uh, take the foams out of them. Wash them in Mean Green. Uh, back in the old days, I used to spray them down with WD-40 and stuff. I don't do that with these scalar tires. Especially with the RC four-wheel drive tires. Because they're a different kind of rubber. Uh, in my opinion, RC four-wheel drive really stepped their game up in their tires, though, okay? Uh, back at, you know, I ran some of the RC four-wheel drive tires back in the day, and some of them, they really, they didn't perform that fantastic. Uh, but, look, I don't have a problem with any of the RC four-wheel drive tires that I've ran, guys, okay? Uh, I'm sitting on, uh, like I said, these are RC four-wheel drive on the Forerunner, the BFGs, the, um, uh, BF Goodrich TA, uh, Mud Terrains, the Groundhogs, the Compass Tires, okay? And these are all RTR tires, okay? I've ran them. Uh, the, uh, I got them over here out of the way. The Midnight Tires, the the, the Super Swamper Midnight Tires. Uh, even what comes on the Marty Rig, my buddy calls them Skinny Minis. Um... In my opinion, they're perfectly matched scale for the Marty truck. That's just me because I was going for the Marty truck build. That's what I was building. That's what the truck's supposed to be for me. You know, I didn't want to change it up a lot. I know a lot of people's done it, but that's me. Uh, it's, you know, it's what I wanted. It's a Marty truck. Uh, wasn't no reason for me to change it up a bunch. I was trying to build a closest replica. I'm waiting on to get the money together to buy the proper shocks for it. Because um, that's just how I do stuff. Um... I'm sitting on the Pro Line on my Trail Finder 3. There's videos of it running with these tires. They're the Pro Line Super Swamper tire. Uh, they're uh, bigger than the Midnight Super Swamper, the RC Four Wheel Drive tires. Uh, the Pro Lines do perform better than the RC Four Wheel Drive Super Swampers, but the RC Four Wheel Drive Super Swampers Swampers are just fine. They're a little smaller scale. I don't have a problem with any of those tires personally. I think RC Four Wheel Drive tires perform really well. Um, you're not, I mean, that's just, you know, maybe if you're doing hard, hardcore stuff, uh, the only downfall you get with the RC four wheel drive tires, you have to step up your foam game, um, in the RC four wheel drive stuff. Uh, you do have to have a heavier foam if you're running a heavier truck, especially if you're running side hill stuff and everything. You're going to need something like this for like a 10 pound rig. My stuff scaled out. If your stuff's not scaled out and you just got like one of them cut up, uh, Chopped, bobbed, whatever rigs, nothing wrong with it, not for me. Uh, but, you know, you probably get away with running stock foams if it's not a real heavy truck. I, you know, I think I got away with my Blazer up to around eight pounds. When I started going over around the seven, eight pound mark, you know, they started really crushing down on me. That's why I'm trying to keep my dually, uh, you know, nothing over really um, around that probably close to seven, eight pound mark. And I'm really hitting it pretty close now. So, uh, you know, it's it's hard to do when you start scaling one out, but uh, I had a guy comment about the bug shield. Uh, I made this bug shield on both of these rigs. These are made by me, the Marlin, and the Forerunner bug shields. I made them. Uh, went to the Dollar Tree and bought some plastic containers and cut them up and just made them. Uh, they came out pretty good. You guys check out uh, a guy named Tim Purdue. You can find him on Facebook. He made my big old Chevy bug shield here on the dually. You guys, I'm not dragging it out. You can watch the other videos. It's the dually. I can kind of turn the camera here a little bit. I don't want to move it around a lot. Uh, Tim Purdue made that one on the on the dually. 
Um, super great guys, highly recommend him. Uh, pretty fast shipping considering where he's coming from. So that's where we're at anyways on all this stuff. I just wanted to put this out here because I think people were getting the wrong impression thinking that I was crapping on these Rock Beast tires. By far, I'm not. I will talk about one more thing real quick here with the Rock Beast, okay? Um, all these Pitbull tires have reinforced sidewall, so they are super, super good for a heavy truck. You're not going to have to mess around with the foams in them, like I said before, like you do with the RC four-wheel drive tires and Pro Lines are bubblegum soft foams. That is the absolute worst set of foams and a set of tires I've ever had ever my entire life. I will say that right off the rip. Uh, no, I didn't get the Predator Compound. I've got their G8, I think is what they call it. I've well and deal with so many of these tires that, I mean, it's just crazy. I, I, I change stuff up a lot because I like to try different stuff. Uh... But, yeah, if you got a heavy truck with these pit bulls, I'd say you'd probably be good running clear up to, well, Sir Terps a lot. I can't remember what he told me his dually weighs. It's the, the wrecker. It's heavy. Um, so, you know, it, it, you're probably not going to have to mess with your foams a lot in it. Um, I didn't have a problem with the foams and the groundhogs. Uh, you know, and they're, they're a pretty stiff foam. It's just the tire compound. People say about it wrinkling it. It wrinkles. Well... Guys, if you watch off-road videos, if you're truly rock crawling and you watch those videos of those guys, and I've been there and done it, uh, you air down, you get sidewall flex, deflection with your tires. That's just how it works in the real world, fellas. Um, you know, you, your tires should be wrinkling. You're not going to go out there with a super hard aired up tire in the real world in a one-to-one -one rig and go rock crawling and not get tire deflection because those guys are aired down, guys. A lot of them run a little more air in the back and a little less air in the front. That way you get the push back down onto the front of the truck. Uh, just like that even when we're trailing Jeeps and stuff like that. A lot of times you air down, you get a little more traction. That's the whole point of running beadlock tires because when you air down, you're not going to rip that tire off that rim if you're just running a regular wheel and you got air down and you get traction, it bites a hole and it'll rip your tire or blow your tire off your rim. You lose a bead. That's the whole point of running beadlocks. So... You know, it, it equates down from the one to one world, guys. I'm sorry, into these trucks just the same. Uh, that's, just, that's just how it works. Um, so, with that being said, uh, got, like I said, I'm happy with the Marlin setting where she's at. I'm probably dealing the mudslingers to my buddy if he wants them. They're not a bad tire as he's seen them perform, they climb great. Uh, they, they really, they don't like the wet a lot. They really don't. You have to be careful in the wet, especially on rocks. They slip and slide, but, uh, you know, that's, they're not really designed for that either. They're a mud tire, hence mud slinger. Uh, you know, <laughs> so, uh, anyhow, that's where we're at with this. Uh, I'm going to get one, I'm going to get one more video posted up this week, guys. And it's just of the RC four wheel drive, uh, sun, uh, cab visor. I got it. We're going to be comparing it to the guy on, you can look him up on Facebook, uh, Tim Hovis. He's doing some work for me, uh, currently making some stuff uh, compared to his visor. Um, I really liked his visor. Uh, he 3D prints it. I uh, really did enjoy his, his visor on my dually, and it is right here. I'll go ahead and turn to the dually. Uh, you guys can see it there. I'm really happy with how the dually's turning out. I'm really liking this truck. I got more stuff to change up, mirrors, badges. I got my windshield banners made up. Uh, I'm going to be going over them in the next video. Uh, I'm really, really thinking hard about picking up some stack exhaust and running some, st uh, this, some stack exhaust on this truck uh, just because I like the stack exhaust. And when this truck gets probably getting a 454 big block uh, proper for what would be in a big Chevy, I'm not gonna do a diesel, but my buddy, my buddies run stacks on their on their on their big trucks. So, and I like stacks. So, I'm looking at some different stacks to get. I want something metal. So, if the truck does have a crash or tumble, it don't they don't break off like 3D printed stuff. Uh, nothing wrong with 3D printed stuff. I'm not saying anything wrong with that because I don't want anybody to take offense to that either. But uh, yeah, anyways, that's just where I'm at. I, I'm 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 conflicted with either dual exhaust or stacks. So, hold on, we gotta shut it off and restart it. All right, so anyhow, guys, you can comment down below. I appreciate the people that always drop a comment down there. 
Uh, if you guys got questions or whatever, I can try to help you out. Um, like I said, I'll have an update video. Just some different odds and ends stuff that I've got. I'm waiting for a few more packages to come in the mail. Uh, up there you see my TV. Um, I got... I'll, 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 I gotta get the name of that thing. One of, one of the guys that subs to the channel asked me. I can't remember if it's tiny, whatever. Uh, I'm sure my buddy will watch this video and comment it down below because he knows what who makes those. I, I don't know. I can't remember. But uh, I haven't had time to look at that one yet. But uh, yeah, like I said, Tim Purdue, guys. If you're just looking to buy the, the bug visors. I don't really make them for people because the bug visors, like I said, that I made over here. I mean, they came out pretty good. Uh, you know, they're, I just, uh, they're, they're, they're not, uh, they're not easy to make to try to get them. You know, I, I tried to get them really, it took a lot to get them where they were at. Now, I have the template to make them for the Mojave body. And I kind of like, uh, I don't know if Tim watches, bro, you should maybe, instead of just making them where they shut off here, if you can make these cut to where they cover clear to the corners of the hood, uh, I just, I remember seeing, uh, back in the day, some of these Hilux that came with these visors and they actually covered clear to the edge of the hood. Uh, not that there's anything wrong, cause I got the one off of them that's going on my TF3. It's the clear one back there. You guys can watch it in my other video. So anyhow, that's where we're at. Uh, once again, uh, you know, check out, uh, guys, the guy's name's Tim Hovis and Tim Purdue. You can find them on uh, Facebook, they both hang around in the Squareheads group on there. Just search, search the Squareheads on Facebook. Um, great, great dudes there. You know, Tim, Tim's making up some stuff for me again. I'm going to, I'm going to be having it on the channel. Uh, so you guys can check it out here. Uh, he told me he was working on a step side bed. I'm hoping he can get the step side bed for that chassis that you see sitting on the jack stands back here. Uh, cause I'm wanting to do a step side, an actual proper short wheelbase, uh, not the long wheelbase K10. I, I want a short wheelbase K10. Um, cause all the other ones, I consider the ones on that, on the, on the long wheelbase. That's, that's not a short bed. That's, that's a long bed. Uh, in my, in my opinion. Well, my rust bucket is, I don't know about the new K10. I don't know how they did the bed length and stuff on it. That might be closer to a short bed. I don't know, but I do know it's still on the long wheelbase chassis. So uh, in my opinion, the step sides, they're, they're pretty small. They're pretty short. So I'm waiting on him to get back with me. Uh, cause I really, I really do want to do that. Uh, that'll be a, that'll be another build later, but it'll be later. Cause you know, I'm sitting on the YJ, I'm sitting on the K10. We're getting ready to finish up the dually. And then I'm taking a break from builds and we're just, I'm focusing a little bit now back into working on the shop. Uh, cause I got to make baseboards for the shop and everything. Cause it is coming along pretty well. I uh, got the TV finally up in there, and I got lucky on that one, uh, finding it. The wife found it, and it was a good, it was an awesome deal. So, uh, I'm pretty happy with all that stuff. I'm still making my own signs and stuff, but I still need to buy some signs. I uh, finally got a shelf made up back here. So, uh, I'm thinking about getting another tire rack. Uh, just one of the metal ones, just the tire rack itself. Because um, I like to keep my rigs in the shop. Uh, cause this is what a, a, you know, big garage would look like full, full of vehicles and everything. So not just a bunch of pop machines and stuff like that. It's not really my thing. Uh, you know, especially if you're talking about a personal shop that you're working on, you know, cool shit in. So, uh, anyways, from the RC garage, from the RC dungeon, uh, I just wanted to give an update here. Uh, like I said, towards the end of the week, I'm going to be doing that comparison to the visors and then some other stuff just sharing that I got. Uh, some deals and stuff like that where you can find it. And then uh, I just want to say I appreciate everybody that's watching the channel. Uh, I've picked up a lot of a lot more sub subs again. Uh, guys, when I put music with my trail videos, it's kind of when I don't have a choice. Um, so if you watch a trail video with me and there's music, there's a reason why I had to put music with it. Because I've got a few comments about the music. Uh I don't pay for any of my stuff because, you know, I can't really afford to buy out, uh, you know, subscriptions and stuff for a bunch of stuff uh, right now for the channel. Uh, you know, I use the free video editor and stuff like that from uh, CapCut. Uh, I'd love to have their pro stuff. I think it does come with better music. And I know uh, I've been told that you can go. I, I, 
guys, I do everything on my cell phone. I don't really have like a decent computer. I have a little laptop. It's just a Chromebook. Um, I don't get into that stuff. I'm trying to get more into it. It's just not my thing. It's hard for me to get motivated for it when it comes to the video editing and stuff. So, uh, anyways, guys, I'm going to be getting some more videos up of AKA pretty boy, the forerunner here, which was technically probably my first, you know, going back into getting back into the scale stuff. Uh, I love that forerunner. Uh, I'd love to have the new red forerunner from RC four wheel drive, but before I get that, it'll be a K10. I want their K10 so bad. Uh, but, uh, got to save up nickels and dimes and pennies to buy it and I'll get it eventually and have it in the garage here. Uh, I'm not even really a Chevy guy, but I like the old square body. So, um, so anyhow, from the RC dungeon guys, peace.